Mother told me not to drink this when she had me drugged up. If you want to call this MK Ultra, she said it's a poison. She keeps this here, but don't drink this. It's going to be here, but don't drink this. It made me sick. Um, it made me enormously sick. I see her drinking this shit too. And her also experiencing problems. Um, however, I think those problems are not as severe as mine. And so for the cost of whatever the fuck she's doing, I'm the one who's paying much higher price than she does. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to sample this thing and uh, keep this for some other time. It could be also that it's the kind of coffee that is poisonous, that's another thing. And bought this deliberately uh, to get me ill. But I'm going to keep this and the day is going to come when I'll be able to consent about this stuff with people that know about Mm -hmm. Let me see this here. No. Uh, there is, but there is some some other shit that is also already added inside. I had no idea about this. What it says here: uh, chocolate and caramel and all kinds of shit inside. Smell. Uh, so th this is not really the stuff you want to even buy this stuff. No, this is actually not exactly classic. Oh. Not classic coffee, it's got egg mixtures actually. Uh, basically knowing about what she did to me with this thing. Knowing that she knew that this was a poison. This is a poison. This has got some kind of uh, also smell inside. The same coffee. The same coffee. She purchased or had other people purchase vast amounts of this coffee knowing about my problem what kind of problem I have so I could say that knowing about my health problem and buying this kind of stuff stack herself with this shit deliberately to cause me as much harm as possible is this is the only coffee she has yeah I could I can say that this is a poisoning this qualifies as a poisoning it does so we're gonna record this stuff too and we're gonna find out what kind of consequences that this coffee does uh, has on somebody uh, with the cancer basically what what what's the outcome of the coffee like this on somebody with a cancer so she knew exactly what the fuck she was doing better than I did because they evaluated all these substances uh, on me when they hold me drugged up so that's a really worse crime she is like a of this criminal stuff against me like a kingpin basically this is not a good person I know it's a woman but in her case she's more than a woman she is a mother and when you do something like this as a mother uh, I wouldn't consider myself as a child as I'm 50 years old, but still, no, it can be worse than this, really. This is a sad one. No. She knows exactly what the fuck she's buying. This is decaffeinated coffee. Uh, decaffeinated coffee also has impacts on your 
uh, nodes are very dangerous shit because this is without the caffeine but has the same effect as caffeine so it does have some kind of very negative impact poisonous impact actually something that agitates uh, a blood flow that raises a blood flow that agitates uh, gland nodes to degree that you become active no not a good stuff however not as poisonous as that shit that shit was like from what I can recall under MK Ultra, like a top, top, top poison. So that's why that's important stuff. We're just going to recall that stuff. We're going to record that stuff. And that's another one, very, very bad one too. But nothing is as bad as that shit right there. Um, what is it this is with uh, with aroma with a special smell it's got a cocoa cocoa also inside <laughs> imagine coffee with a cocoa uh, a very powerful coffee by the way that's how powerful this shit is okay uh basically seven Seven, seven out of ten is a, a strength of the coffee. Uh, really, really, really not, not, not a stuff that that uh, you wouldn't want to fuck with this. This is a very, very bad stuff. This is this has got. Uh, I'm actually even huh, I'm not actually I don't understand this stuff because it's this is this looks the same and so I'm trying to see this shit This is with this is what she told me is gonna be a poison. This shit, that's why, because it's got a chocolate, it's got uh, some kind of nuts inside that are also uh, roasted, and it's got aroma, flower aroma with uh, smell of caramel inside and shit like this. Uh, 8 out of 10 is a strength of this coffee. Um, it's not a good stuff. But I remember when she told me not to drink this, that this is a poison. That she's going to have here, but don't drink this shit. And I did. And I got so fucking sick with this stuff. Because on a cancer, this is like... A death sentence basically. You don't want to drink this. She told me under MK Ultra, if you want to call this garbage MK Ultra, that this is going to only be drinking about three times or something like this, and then you're done. That's how bad that shit is. This stuff here, however, I don't see it would be the same uh, because it doesn't say anything that this would have. So that's why I understand now even more. Yeah, so that she, she really knows what the fuck she's doing, like deliberately, like in a sense, causing harm as much as possible. Yeah, I was gonna sample that stuff, but I realized it makes no sense. She knows exactly what the fuck is doing. This is not the same thing. This also is not the same thing and it didn't come to me it's also not the same thing that's why when i drink this coffee i was not sick i survived because it's not the same thing
No, that's a different coffee. Actually, that's a really, really different coffee from what you see here. And this one here also. There you go. With the taste of um, chocolate and roasted uh, not walnut but uh, nuts basically and with aroma of caramella caramel caramel man hey, that's uh, that shit will really really screw you up because it's 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 the packing the packing it's like oh fucking it's almost the same thing hey eh? It says it's the same thing, basically classic original, but here you have only this sign here with the caramel and stuff. Bad shit, man. So this is why she knew exactly what she's doing. Uh, she had stored at the same time she brought, and she also told me this is going to be the case. That's why I know. Uh, I want it. Throw one inside in here inside of the fridge and another package she threw inside in there and told me when I was drugged up that she's gonna do this for me to learn that the walnut anything for that matter that is stored inside of the fridge on a cord keeps much longer than whatever is not stored inside um so that this is going to be a lesson for me like i'm idiot like i have no school whatsoever like i'm the one with a grammar school but she is a she is rotten to the to, to the bone this this woman is something else the walnuts however that she placed inside in here and she also told me that this is going to be the case however it was not poisoned, it was so fucking moldy that would kill you. And so what I did eventually, I ended up boiling one. I boiled one, cleaned one, and then I consumed one. Because this, this is just, this is just uh, the relationship that we have. And the other one, of course, that's stored inside uh, the fridge, that one was not even moldy to begin with. You can consume that one like this. So she really, really knows what she is doing. She knows very well what she's doing. A lessons, yeah. A lessons in the game. Let's find poison. Simultaneously with her stuff, she's full of good advice. For instance, there is a chicken here already that sits in here ready for uh, I don't know how long uh, maybe I don't know a few days she brought this chicken she told me on that I'm here sure that's what you're supposed to eat that's what you're supposed to eat another thing she's full of great advice uh, is this shit here you better don't because if you have a cancer and you want to go for this shit you're dead um, this one that's a great one she bought this one at a probably 50 percent maybe more discounted this shit here it's like now uh, let me see it's a pure fat basically this shit is like you would eat yeah <laughs> it's like uh, let me see if it says if you eat this with a cancer trust me you're fucking dead okay um the expiration date is right here this is the expiration date and it's got about 
46% of fat inside. 46%. I'm not making this shit up. That's her fridge that she arranges. That's just the way it is. That's what the fuck it is. That's what you get. Um, you get this kind of stuff handy and uh, this kind of stuff for the snack. This is a pork fat. Uh, I would love to say these are pork chops. Uh, it's about probably more worse than pork chops. You wouldn't want to eat that stuff with a, if you have a cancer. You wouldn't want to go for that stuff. So this is basically what makes the fridge fridge, basically. That's it. The only friend you're going to have are these eggs. Uh, eggs. And uh, that's pretty much it, really, uh, for the fridge, basically. This is just the way it is. You better be aware about what you eat uh, because I just said to myself right now, every time when I go for a walk, I take two of this. It's one and a half liter here. So you're talking about three liter of water. I put them right here on my chest and I walk with backpack on my back, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, sometimes across the whole night. Because I do write, I work, I write this uh, articles, news, news articles, and uh, I don't have much time. I go about this stuff, uh, and uh, with one shit like this, I will not forget. I just did this, and she always does this. She always finds the way to do this. When that stuff was not, it would be something in a cocoa or inside of the sugar that would be placed inside that it used to be that I would consume, I would be sick like a shit. I'm not sensitive that much to the sugar, not to that cocoa. Uh, but she proved me that I am, <laughs> you know, if you really want to do that to someone, yes, you can. This shit here, however, this is like... All fucking night, I walked back and forth, uh, uphill and downhill, to clear my system from poison. Uh, let me explain to you something. Uh, I was so sick the next day that I thought I would fucking die, man, from this shit. This is real poison, this shit. And she knows what the fuck is doing. When you consume this shit like this, you go exercise, you go... You didn't clean your blood. You go back like almost in time, like one month when you were completely fucked up with a single fucking poison like this. That's what the fuck she's doing. She controls the wallet. She controls the food, the kitchen, whatever the fuck she wants, she does. It's a fucking Walt Disney, basically. It really is. I was going to go walk right now, but it doesn't make sense. It gets midnight right now. It doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm gonna try to get sleep. Anything is better than I go and I do it tomorrow. But listen up, folks. Um, they got cancer patients together. They interviewed many people to find out what it feels like to have a cancer. And they got a good description of cancer. They did a thorough evaluation of products on me, on what it takes basically to destroy me through the local supplies inside of the stores. And I can tell you what cancer feels like. I was brainwashed that it's directed energy weapon that's going to be used on me when I'll be walking that my ears are going to be popping out. But the thing is that you don't have to walk. For your ears even to pop in and out. Eardrums I'm talking about. You can sit here. I do. I did. And uh, they brainwashed me. And when they hit you with directed energy weapon. It's going to be your eardrums. It's going to open and close and shit. It's, can you feel? When I was drugged up. They were asking me. Do you feel? 
Now that's uh, that right now you have that's direct energy attack. You know, this is, if you want to call this MK Ultra, I'm talking about, but that's three and a half years they had me drugged up 24 7. Three and a half years. 365 days per year each. It went on for no less than 27 years periodically whenever they got a hold of me. And my mother was a really a kingpin of this stuff. I know it's a woman and I know I know so that I don't take on women because I think that males deserve to be taken on. It's males, not females, that screw these things up. It's females that are actually used by males to hide their crime behind females. It's the world we live in. Now, I, in my opinion, if you cannot take on a male, I usually just shut up. I, I feel it's pathetic when I see guys talking against jumping on females. You know, throwing all the anger on female politicians, whatever, females. Um, it can be obnoxious, it can be bad, they can be bad, but I think they are mostly brainwashed. Because women is always the one that looks for security. Male is the one that takes initiative. And so I think that if you don't have what it takes, uh, to confront male as a male uh i i think not not that you don't have balls but you are just uh, you know it, it's pathetic but she is more than to me than a female is a mother a mother that's about the trust and when you do the stuff like this uh to your own i'm 50 years old but still i'm i'm a child uh, it kind of sucks in my eyes. So, you know, I don't consider her completely sane. I think she's completely insane, criminally insane for that matter. What psychiatrists couldn't finish, what on behalf of these Slovenian politicians, she's doing. She is finishing their job, basically. Through the neighbor here, through the physician, they controlled the employment market. I no longer search for the job because I do a lot of work. And for this job to get it done, especially due to the fact that they wouldn't allow me to work, and it's now pretty much done. Complaint needs to be written, finished. Uh, that kind of stuff. It's the first stuff I'm going to concentrate on. I don't want to concentrate on 10 things and get none done. Because it takes more time. It's not that it would destroy me mentally, confuse me or something like that. Despite everything, but it takes too much from one. It's not worth it. It's better to concentrate on one and one and one and complete this stuff. And I have to say I'm satisfied. Uh, but, you know, you can sit here and you can have air drums opening and closing. You don't have to go and elevate up and down this hill. I usually go up and down this uh, St. Mary's Nativity Church at Tushkagora. You can sit here and you're going to have this kind of problem. Um, spasms below the knees, uh, above the oculus area, extended to veins I would, I would feel all over the legs that, that would just be moving like this on me because of this fucking poison. Pain, cardiac pain, all over chest area. Hmm. It comes down to a blood issues poisoning in the blood 
the body poisons itself when you're cancerous when you're when you have a problem with a cancer uh, the only way to get going is what I was told and I do frankly believe this is through dialysis and the most natural way to clean your body is through the workout throughout which you consume it takes several hours this is not than one hour something like this two hour it takes maybe five six hours walk through which you consume let's say two bottles like this let's say three liter more water so that you clean you wash your kidneys uh, liver and so on so the system cleans itself the liver clean clean itself um, in a split of a second without any suspicion without having any reason to suspect the unsuspected takes place it's a kill whether she's using whatever she's using either in the sugar or whatever she puts inside salt whatever it is you're not supposed to consume salt you're not supposed to sugar uh, your drinks you're not supposed to salt your food I already know I don't that's the point I don't consume any salt any sugar whatsoever almost with the sugar I'm close to nothing I'm close to zero basically when it comes to sugar um, I don't drink coffee I prepare myself cocoa I consumed coffee that you have seen three times maybe within the last month and a half it was okay twice it was the third time that was fatal a few days ago when I came from the walk and I got that shit and, and it was just it was just something that was taking me into some some other dimension plus that I have to report that every morning whenever I wake up I am attacked with electromagnetic magnetic radiation from right below so that's all I have to say for this video this is not a coincidence uh, she had this stuff she told me exactly what I stated she would tell me and she rushed after I consumed that actually I consumed that twice she rushed to finish that stuff herself as fast as possible or drink in front of you to to see the smell of coffee that kind of stuff so that's how it goes um, it's one time one shit crazy insane bat insane crazy shit like this issue and it's another time some other shit it's from bananas to all kinds of stuff like this she finds her way it's quite amazing March 6, 2022 According to American psychologist Daniel Rex Smith This coffee alone, this coffee, this one here with this aroma, with this, this kind of stuff That's exactly the coffee that was used during MKUltra when they drugged me up It was exactly the coffee that was used to put the cancer symptoms basically to trigger the cancer symptoms whenever they had me drugged up that's exactly what a neighbor Dr. Quarter used to trigger that which probably it was some other stuff that was added to maybe Daniel Rex Smith just wanted me just wanted to example me the threat the danger of this coffee for my health condition which however never I have experienced in my real time yeah I would only have the symptoms whenever they drugged me up um, that's how bad this coffee actually is 
but I think it was something else they did. I think it was some other poisoning. I think it was substances they added to it. And I think she just wanted to remind me on how dangerous this, exactly this coffee is. They did talk about this, precisely about this coffee for cancer. Um, if not, uh, it actually gave me a legitimacy to claim that this is actually considered as a poison on someone with a cancer. This is a case of poisoning. This is a classic case of poisoning. What psychiatrist couldn't finish with a forced hospitalization through my parents' lice? 